Okay, you go first. Reply, reply to this. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's start from the fuck, bitch. So the night that I went into labor, I was in labor for three days. I went into labor on a Friday night, okay? So that Friday night, I started to have contractions pretty bad and I started to bleed. You know, these people was crazy, for real. So I called my baby Fabo. The bitch didn't answer. I called not one time, not two times, not three times, not four, but like mm, 20. It was getting to the point where I knew he was just ignoring my calls. I was literally in so much pain and it was probably like two or three o'clock in the morning. I literally took my baby dad and I said, I'm bleeding. You know, the kids are doing well. Like, I need to go to the hospital. No response, no nothing. So I called my best friend. I ended up calling my best friend and literally I, if I, as he answers the phone, he's like literally laying in bed. Say, bro, first of all, let me just say this. Your baby daddy ain't never showed you no signs of him being a stand-up dude. He never showed signs of being a good man. And you got a male best friend too. He probably thanked the baby for him. Can't tell me. I see I'm nervous and paranoid. <laughs> for real. I said, I hate to do this to you. I said, but your nephew, he's coming. You need your to nephew. Come. It was like, Bleh. where's him? And I was like, I just called and he's not answering. And my friend just looked at me. I said, why are you looking at me like that? He said, bruh, that nigga just sent me a Snapchat. He's in the car with a bunch of people. Smoking. That's a whole weird. He decided to smoke with the big boys. That's smoking. Situation. So whatever. My best friend, he, whatever, he get out the bed and he come, he do the dash, he come get me. So my best friend, he come get me, he take me to the hospital. He going back and forth my baby dad. I guess they caught himself arguing because, I mean, look at the situation. My baby daddy in the he was like, where are you? Do you need a come on, mom, mom, mom. And they go, what the f I'm already at the hospital. So he ends up coming up to the hospital, y'all. I'm in the hospital, I'm laboring, I'm in pain. The doctors are literally like, yeah, your contractions, they're intense, but baby, you're not dilating. He, y'all you know what he was doing? He was sleeping. All I want Santa Claus is two fat bitches. And he was in the corner of the room. Let me just say this. What you expect a 17, 18 year old dude doing? Cause I know you had that baby young. <laughs> say bro, how would you even know what a good man look like, bro? I promise you, I would bet money that she didn't grow up living in the same house, seeing an example of a man and what a man's supposed to do. I know she didn't grow up like that because this would be red flags everywhere, left and right. I know she didn't though. I'm rolling around on the bed in pain, not dilating, going through contraction. He was just sitting there asleep. So they ended up sending me home because I was, I wasn't dilating. I wasn't doing enough. They ended up giving me some medicine to calm down my contraction. He drops me off at home. Please. So I was cool for that day. And then the next day comes around. I woke up early as contracting again, really, really bad. I said, my baby did it again. I said, it's for real this time that he is coming, that he's coming. Mind you, I want y'all to keep this in your mind, okay? My baby daddy had been staying with me from the time I was about five months pregnant up until about three weeks prior to this situation. Okay? He takes me. He takes me back though. He say, I have somebody in the car with me. Do you still want me to come? <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna get it and break it. I'm <laughs> I know where it's going. Ooh. I was born at night, bitch. But never ever last night, ho. Never. Okay, so now in the midst of this, I already know what the fuck is going on. I already know what the fuck is up. I, I was born last night, bitch, but again, not last night. So by this time, my water has broke. I'm leaking. Oh, damn. Okay, all over the floor. And I knock on my next door neighbor's door so I can get to the fuck. Hey, let me tell y'all some real shit. When I got my girl pregnant, her daddy looked me dead in my eyes and said, so what you gonna do? <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the difference when you have a woman that got a dad in her life. Me and my baby daddy have known each other since high school, so like, Okay, one year ago. There's not too many people that we don't know in common that he would have to ask to be like, there's somebody in the car, if that makes sense. But anyway, bitch, I stopped responding to him in the midst of all this, and I just get my black ass to the hospital. Okay, so finally, at some point he texts me, he was like, where are you at? I tell him, bitch, hospital. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I make it, sorry, my phone died. I make it to the hospital at 10 a.m., okay? My baby daddy don't show up to the hospital with my nighttime bed until like four, three or four. When he comes in, he's not really, you know, he's not, he just sits there. He's not saying nothing. He's not asking He don't like you. Like that. 
the doctor ends up coming in, they end up checking to see how far I am dilated. Y'all, they tell me that I am eight centimeters dilated and it's almost time to push. I kid you, this man got up and got up and left. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. So, yep, it's just me now in the hospital. Mind you, my son was born during COVID. So, my hospital that I had my child at, there was a rule that you could only have one visitor. The only person that came was the only person that could be there the whole entire time you were at the hospital. When he came, he took my goddamn visitor. Like, that was uh -huh. He came and he left. Y'all know how to pick him. Uh, needless to say, um, I ended up having my son about two hours later. Uh, my baby daddy was nowhere to be found. Never is. Nowhere to be found. I have my son alone by myself. Um, with just my doctor. Let's call the spade a spade, bro. The type of dude she got pregnant for, we all know. He's a typical lazy, no good, unproductive type of person. We know this about him. If she's telling the truth, everything she's saying right now, bro, how could she ever have thought that he was going to be worth a damn? This is why y'all need men in y'all life. Because y'all mamas be, oh, my baby about to have a baby and all this, and I like him. They not hard enough on these young men y'all bringing around, bro. Um, and then after that, um... He didn't come get us from the hospital. Mm -mm. No, he didn't get us from the hospital. So I end up having our son or whatever, blah, 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 blah. We get a DNA test to make sure, you know, he's 100% his. I'll never forget the words that came out of my baby father's mouth when we took the DNA test. He got the paperwork, he opened it up, and he just started smiling. He looked at me and said, you're just a baby mama now. Don't let no ex-hole show you up. Anyway, so... It, the story only gets worse. So then, um, it's horrible right now. My son was born the same month as as me. Okay, so his birthday is just a couple months. I mean, a couple of weeks before mine. He's born the eighth. I'm born the thirty first. So, um, you know, my son has an appointment come up. I'm not sure which one, but you know, right after they're born, they have appointments, and I'm end up talking to. You know, people like, I don't know what's going on, my baby daddy, he's acting weird, like, you know, he's probably acting weird right before our son came, you know, he stopped, little, 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 you know, some lame bitch shit. Finally, somebody was just like, girl, he old ass lady. Damn! We knew that already. They always know yes, something. Yeah, he was old ass woman, like, tearing her ass up. 45. My, um, my birthday ended up coming around. Me and this old ass lady, me and this old ass bitch, her daughter, me and the daughter, me and the little bitch share a birthday, y'all. My baby daddy went to the little girl birthday and gave her some money. It didn't acknowledge me. Well, look next time. I just had our son two weeks prior. Ah. <laughs> but I could really go on forever. Like, he told me that I was shaped funny. <laughs> I don't think nobody's gonna pop my baby dead for a life. The only thing the nigga ain't did is gave me a black eye. That's it. But yeah, somebody top it, please. All right. So here's the thing. I don't remember her saying that that was her boyfriend or that they was in a relationship or none of that. So I'm trying to piece together the story, right? The best friend who supposedly is her child's uncle knows the baby daddy. So what I think it is, is that they they all was just friends. And then he ended up smashing and it turned into what it turned into. They was never in a relationship. He probably begged and pleaded for her not to keep it in the first place. And she decided to bring it to terms. I promise you, that's what I think happened. And you know, when you do stuff like that, you run the risk of being a single baby mother it's that simple bro like y'all was young as hell bro you don't look like you a day over 25 you know it looked like you know whatever it is but i promise that that's why and y'all brought that baby in the world in a deficit it happens man i'm used to this man i have seen this my whole life i'm trying to get see what that be like right man let's be in that time for that time i know this story i mean, I mean I, i'm i'm just this man tried to tell me cincinnati is the equivalent of it like we'll put up a hundred k of my own money okay for any street chick Huh? But any street chick who think, yeah, any street chick or boxer who think that they can beat me, yeah, wait. If you can beat me in a fight, baby, nah, you can beat me in a fight. I wouldn't even take that. I'm a man. <laughs> I will. I will. I will, I will, will reward you a hundred k. I thought she was about to say she'll rearrange your face. I meant that. I'm like dead serious. Like, 
what do I have to be afraid of? Uh, yeah. When it comes to that, I ain't got to be afraid of nothing. I ain't got to be afraid of nothing. Do you hear me? Because I know, I know a hundred percent that baby can't none of these girls with me. Yeah, boy. They probably can't. I ain't gonna hold you. Not in the uh, Flint. Not in Ohio. Not in the world. Yeah, I know for a fact. Can't none of the, I, I just know. And the reason I said street chick, this is where disrespect comes in at. Girls be talking shit to me who do this street fighting or be in the streets or whatever. And they be talking like they can do something with me. So I'm giving them a chance. But I have to go ahead and put it on out there. At first, I might like, just show up. I give you a chance. You lose. You go home. You lost to the world. Good, good Man, job. keep the camera and still. I'm like, you know what? Nah. Put your money where your mouth is because look at the odds. I charge you two thousand. I charge you two thousand dollars just to fight me, right? You beat me, you get a hundred k. You lose. I beg your pardon. You just out of two k. But the odds is crazy. Said, bro, I'm not gonna hold you. I'll fight you for the 2K for the chance to win a hundred thousand dollars. I will happily take that ass whooping. I don't give a damn. <laughs> you put that bitch in front of the whole world, boy. I'll get that hundred racks real quick. Well, you got beat up by a girl and did why? What's up? I'm a hundred thousand dollars richer though. What's hell? Whoa, no, no, no. I gotta win to get the hundred. Never mind. I'm taking that back. But if it was like that, bro, I'll take an ass whooping for a payday. I ain't gonna hold y'all, bro. Put me in the ring with Jake Paul, Logan Paul, Mike Tyson, Floyd Mayweather. I don't care. Yeah, it's about the bread to me. If I can get a couple M's out of it, I already know I'm gonna get beat up, embarrassed. The internet never gonna forget it. But I'm gonna be laughing when I'm rich. I don't, I don't care. Women don't self identify as broke. Oh, oh hell no. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's just start right there. Let's you start there. I didn't want to say it. I'm telling you why. Subconsciously, women don't identify themselves as being broke. They're saying nothing That's to not broke what it is. Yes, it you is. You can't take you where you can't afford to take yourself. I know I'm not the only person that knows that only women are able to have the audacity to fix their mouth to say something dumb like this. Let me see. Hey, can you send me $200? Like, I'm a little bit short on rent this month. Mm. And you tell them, I don't have $200 for you. And then they call you broke. Oh, Lord. You're about to get evicted. I'm going to manage to evict your skinny punk black ass on <laughs> I will never forget, I was talking to this girl. She was like, Goody, I just paid my rent and I don't have enough money to get my nails done. Can you send me $80? Yeah. I told her, I don't have $80 for you. She said, wow, you don't have $80? Like, are you that broke? I said, bitch, do you have $80? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I have $80. I just don't have $80 for you. Is the difference. But my biggest question is, do you even have $80? <laughs> Okay, okay, so now you bitches are broke and dumb. So how are you living paycheck to paycheck, but the first thought in your mind is, how can I get my nails done? Bitch, why don't you think about how can I get some more money? Oh my God. You worried about nails, bitch, think about how can I get hired at FedEx, Amazon, UPS, you just so broke. How, how do you just sit in brokenness and think about nails? I would think about how can I get some money today? We are in our soft guy era now. Please let's stay away from these broke women this year. God. No more broke girls. Straight up, man. <laughs> hey, but you know, it's crazy because a lot of women do that. A lot of women do that, man. They be short on rent, short on groceries, short on daycare, whatever. <laughs> but still going to do things that's not going to move the needle forward. They're going to do things that's taking money out of their pocket, but don't really add any real value to their life or increases their income. It's as backwards if you ask me. That's one thing I never did, bro. You know, I don't really get into Capricorn stuff and, and uh, uh, horoscopes and stuff, but I'm a Capricorn. And one thing they say about Capricorn is that we're very financially ast astute, right? And I would agree with that. I don't know if I was born that way or I just heard so many people say that about Capricorns that I just became that way. I don't know which one it was but i know i'm that way like i just i don't believe in spending my money on dumb shit unless i've worked extremely hard for it and it's not gonna big break the bank that's just me personally it is i yeah, wouldn't know Cincinnati got women too how are you hi, how are you? hi. Oh, no. huh? we got we got the banks when the last time you've been in cincinnati have you have you been on the river have you been on the banks 
And seeing the banks now, Cincinnati not the same Cincinnati that, that you remember. Yeah, you man. Think about what you said. It's Cincinnati. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> it's Cincinnati. Fact, wait, wait, wait. T- Cincinnati today, right now, it's better than Atlanta. What you talking about? We, we have more to offer. Ask NFL players right now, where they want to play. Would they rather play in Atlanta or would they rather play in Cincinnati? No, 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 no. no, 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 no they, would play, they would rather play with Joe Burrow. Would you rather live in Atlanta or live in Cincinnati? No, they're going to say they'd rather live in Cincinnati and play with Joe Burrow because of what we have to offer. Man, stop it. Let, let's, bet. Let's, bet. let's bet. Let's bet. What you want to bet? I, let me see. This man, say, this man say women in Cincinnati are the equivalent of Atlanta. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Better. Have you been to Cincinnati? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Atlanta. I listen, wait. I might not even make first take tomorrow. Let me, let me, I might be drunk. Listen, I, might I, be love, drunk. I might be drunk on the show. No, you ain't drunk. Listen, I love Atlanta. I will be. I love. I've only been to Atlanta maybe five or six times in, in my lifetime. I love Atlanta. It's considered Black Hollywood. Beautiful people. Oh man, what kind of dress? Beautiful people. Cincinnati. We have everything. Every ethnicity you're looking for. What is Atlanta, Atlanta got? Huh? What the hell you think Atlanta got? Atlanta's called Black Hollywood for a reason because we dominated in all areas and all facets. It's, it's, it's awesome. Like it's great. The only people, and look here, the only people that's moving to Cincinnati are athletes. They play for the Reds, they play for the Bengals. You need to stop this, Ocho. See, you don't understand. You I don't understand. do understand. You, think, you, you think about the 80s and the 90s. Cincinnati is not the same anymore. I think about Cincinnati. Think about it. Think about Cincinnati, what you Cincinnati, not the same. Cincinnati. We have evolved. We have evolved. Cincinnati. We have evolved. Cincinnati. Very, a very safe place to live. The people are great. The organization is great. Right now, we have a... I ain't gonna lie, bro. He run a strong argument. He got me wanting to see what's up with Cincinnati, bro. To all my people that's from Cincinnati, let me know what it's about, man. Real talk. Because I've never been, but I do know I have some family out there. Because my folks is originally from Mississippi, so a lot of them migrated to the Midwest, mostly to Chicago. But a lot of them do live in Ohio, places like that. Missouri, Indiana. I got people out in Wisconsin, too. My auntie live in Kenosha, Wisconsin. That's crazy. But anyway, I did hear that they got some fine-ass women out there in Ohio, though. Real talk. Anyways, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like this video, I got one right here for you to watch. It's a crazy one.